Okay, I want to explore this uh, statement or thought that I actually hear fairly frequently, and I want to uh, just kind of get you thinking about this uh, particular statement, if this fits your um, history or background with mathematics, and that is, I used to be good at math, but, and I want you to kind of uh, think about how you would finish this sentence, if this is your case, if this uh, title of this video drew you in, and you were like, you know what, I used to be good at math, but, hmm. We're going to talk about some of the common questions that would finish out this statement. It may not be yours, but some things that I've heard um, over the years. And then hopefully this kind of gets you thinking about what you want to do with math right now. And obviously you're thinking about it because you wouldn't be watching this video. So we're going to uh, dive into this in just one second. I'm going to give you some specific guidance as well if you are interested in relearning math or considering it. Okay, so we'll talk about this in just one second, but first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. You can check out uh, my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But basically I have uh, 100 plus different math courses. I have all the main math courses uh, like pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, going to be launching pre-calculus here shortly. I have courses like uh, uh, college algebra, intermediate algebra, and uh, but I have many, many uh, specialty test preparation courses. So if you're studying for the GED, SAT, uh, um, GRE, GMAT, uh, teacher certification, ASVAB, Alex, AccuPlacer. There's a ton of different reasons why people study mathematics outside of a math course. So if that's your situation, go to my site, check out my course catalog. I'm pretty sure I can help you out. I also work with uh, independent learners like homeschoolers. So if you're a homeschooler, I have a great homeschool learning system. And then obviously, if you are in a math course and struggling, that could definitely help you out. But uh, one thing you have to be doing to help yourself out if you're uh, going to be studying mathematics that is taking great math notes. So over decades of teaching math, one thing's apparent to me that those students who take great math notes almost always end up with great math grades, and the reverse is true. Those students who like to look at their cell phone, talk to their friends, do all the things that I did, uh, you know, you're not gonna do well in math. There's just too much information, especially in more advanced mathematics. So if you really wanna do well in math, focus on your note taking, all right? It's gonna pay huge dividends. But in the meantime, you probably need something to study from. So I offer detailed, comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and Trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video as well. Okay, so let's get back to this statement or question, right? I used to be good at math, but now, how would you finish this? You Maybe take a you know, fast uh, moment just to think about what comes to mind for you, right? Everyone obviously is going to finish this differently. But I want to uh, discuss uh, some things that uh, I've heard over the years, like kind of common trends. So let's uh, kind of explore this, and I'm going to look at some specific questions. So here is, you know, most people's life, right? So I'm going to break this up in this way. Everyone's gone to elementary school, then you go to middle school, then you go to high school. Some of you went to some sort of... Uh, uh, school after high school, maybe, maybe it's college, okay, maybe it's a vocational school, but by the time you're this age, maybe you're like 21, 22 years old, now what happens when you're like, say, 45 or 55? You know, this is a lot of years, right, the span, and now you're like, hmm, I want to go back to school, maybe you want to get your MBA, maybe you want to go back and get another degree, Maybe you just want to kind of relearn uh, things and you're just thinking, hmm, I'm, I'm going to have to face some math here. But way back in your high school days, probably, maybe even your college days, you're like, you know, I took all this math courses and I, and I remember my grades were good. I was good in the subject. And, you know, people think back and they wonder, they, they ponder, you know, should can I tap into this? Can I... Um, do I need this skill? Can I remember it? You know, but you're, a lot of people are finding out that, you know what, you're going to, you're going to very well may need some mathematics if you're trying to do something with your education, even at this age level. Now, a lot of people um, will learn math just to kind of, you know, practice using their brain. I have actually quite a few members in my math program that are just simply 
you know, retired and want to kind of challenge themselves to learn mathematics. So that's fine too. But we're kind of talking about those of you out there that used to be good at math. So you're thinking to yourself, hmm, I used to be good at math. What does that mean for me right now? Especially if I'm 45, 55, 65, whatever the case is. So of course, everyone's reason uh, or the way you finish that statement is going to be different. But let me um, walk you through a couple specific questions here that I think um, will resonate with all of you out there that are, are watching this video. So the first is, you know, why should you relearn math? Well, why should you? Well, maybe you have to. If it's a part of your goal, if you want to get another degree, okay, or like an MBA or a master's or whatever the case is, maybe you want to go um, and switch careers and become a nurse or a teacher. Well, I uh, don't know if you know this or not. You may know this. If you um, switch careers, oftentimes you have to get a certification in another career, and very often there's mathematics on there. And we're talking like high school level mathematics. It's very, very common. A lot of these certification programs or vocational programs have math on their um, exams. So why relearn math? Well, you might have to relearn math, okay? Um, I even have members that, you know, have not even, let's say, uh, you know, 50, 60 years old, have not uh, achieved their GED. We're very successful, but they need to get their GED. They're switching jobs now. It's a requirement. So there's any number of different reasons why we, uh, you want to relearn math. So um, now the key is, you know, I'm emphasizing here relearn because we're talking about those of you out there that at one time in your memories think to yourself, I knew math. I was good at math. You know, you just kind of have that association. But, you know, uh, whether you're going to do it as a hobby, okay, uh, I think it's going to play out this this question or this um you know, whatever your reason is, where it's going to lead you to the second thing, and that is, will you still be good at math? All right, so is there like a shelf life on your math skills, okay? And people think back and are like, you know, I used to be good at math, but what does that mean? Did you get good math grades? Mm, you know, as a teacher, math teacher, I've seen students who can generate a pretty good math grade, but then they forget, right? They don't have that retention. So maybe you don't really know your current skill, okay? Is there a guarantee that just because you were once good at math, you can still be good at it. Well, that's going to be really um, up to the individual person. I would say, okay, generally speaking, that if you showed good math aptitude in, say, high school or, or college, then you probably still have that same aptitude. So I don't think there is a shelf life on it. However, I do think that uh, most of you out there, just because you have this memory, you know, or this experience and you look way, way back uh, and you're like, yeah, I used to be good at math, you're pretty much um, they're going to have to relearn um, a tremendous amount of mathematics. OK, so just because you could still be good at it, uh, will you still be good at it? The answer is likely uh, yes, for the most part. OK, I think for if you showed uh, or demonstrated aptitude in um, high school uh, or college, now, one thing um, I need to kind of stress here, too, you have to kind of think back at what level of math. So just because you were like good at middle school math and you're like, oh, I took algebra and I got an A in it. You know, this is kind of a relative question where, you know, uh, I used to be good at math. Well, what does that mean? Well, did you take calculus in college or what level of math and what level of math do you have to currently relearn? So I would say that you don't want to. Um, assume too much when you're uh, thinking about relearning mathematics, okay? Or assume too much about your current skill state or your current um, skill, uh, skill set, excuse me, okay? So that kind of uh, brings us to our last question here. So we have three questions, and these are common questions that I hear, and that is, all right, let's say you do have to relearn math, okay? And you're like, yeah, I took uh, Algebra two in high school 30 years ago or 40 years ago, and I got an A in it. So what does that mean to me now? Will I remember this stuff? The answer is no. There's no way. If I gave you an Algebra two question, you'll be like, you know, hmm, yeah, I don't even remember that stuff. And that's just natural. I don't remember stuff 30, 40 years ago. Um, of course, you know, math that I took, I, this is what I do, you know, I've been doing this for years and years and years, and that's how it is in life, you know, um, just because you learn something, that stuff can easily, 
you know, be erased over the years if you're not using it. So what course or level uh, should you start at if you have to relearn math? Well, I would say if um, most of you out there uh, finished um, high school and you did well, in other words, you took the traditional high school courses, which would be algebra, geometry, and maybe up to algebra two, okay, if you went through all these courses and you did pretty well, I would say do not start with anything less than, let's say, pre-algebra, okay? And if your situation is if, in fact, you do need to relearn math and you're watching this for a very specific reason, I would say pre-algebra is a great place uh, to start. Of course, I offer that course. You can just go to my site and uh, you can check out my pre-algebra course. But uh, the reason why I state pre-algebra is a good um, starting point for those of you that are relearning math, and and for uh, those of you that are or have to relearn math, it's likely that most programs are going to require some sort of knowledge of algebra and geometry. You're not going to be testing on very basic arithmetic type of math. You might be in a teaching certification exam, but most programs, most of you out there, if you're going to go for a degree or some sort of certification, you're going to have to know a decent amount of algebra and geometry. So before you get into you know uh, more you know, uh, uh, that's the word I'm trying to say here. Now I'd say advanced algebra. You really want to make sure you have the prerequisites down. So you don't want to go back all the way to your elementary years, you know, and and uh, relearn uh, decimals and place values. I don't think that's necessary. So pre-algebra is an excellent course. My course, you're going to have a review of fractions. Of course, a lot of this uh, topics as well you can find on my YouTube channel if you like my teaching style. Um, and uh, you can go, and I have plenty of videos. But you want to really get into some sort of formal course of instruction that you can review. Now, some of you, you um, may not have to take the entire course, but I would peruse it and go through and start relearning and practicing uh, these topics. Okay. And one thing I must stress, and I kind of stressed it in the beginning of this video, is you used to be good at math. Okay. However, if you're relearning math, you just can't. Um, do it in a haphazard way. You're going to have to be very disciplined and you're going to have to approach it just like any other uh, math student would have to approach it to be successful. And that means you're going to have to be committed. You're going to have to uh, study on a kind of a regular time basis, right? You pick, you know, how many days a week you can study. You're going to need to take notes. You're going to have to do the homework. You're going to have to practice. You're going to have to be a student again. So just because you were good at math doesn't mean you can kind of uh, pick up a book, do a little bit here and there. You're going to have to put a lot of effort in to um, get these skills back, but you certainly can get these skills back. And it will, um, I think for most of you who, you know, really did well in high school or college mathematics, you probably, um, are talking about like going through a course again, a course of instruction, I would say 50% less time than a, a person uh, taking it for the first time. Um, and I'm just kind of, that's just a rough idea of kind of uh, some of the things that I've seen through the years of people go back and relearning. Uh, once you start getting momentum going, a lot of this stuff is, is going to kind of come back and you're going to get your skills back. You're going to get your kind of... Um, you're going to get used to doing mathematics again. So I think if you really commit to a program, let's say my pre-algebra course, for example, would take most students seven to ten months to complete. You, If you really immersed yourself in it, I think a lot of the, that aptitude and memory would start coming back. And I think you could probably do uh, a good solid review in like 50% of the time that uh, someone taking it for the first time. But it's going to take, there's a lot of information you're going to have to cover again. So... The thing about it is this, and we kind of wrap it up now. You used to be good at math, but, well, if you need to relearn it, you're going to have to give yourself time. Do not make assumptions that you're still going to be good at, at math. Being good at math is not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is do you have all these skills? Well, there's somewhere deep down in your subconscious possibly, but you're going to have to reactivate those, and that means you're going to have to touch a lot of different uh, specific math topics, and you're going to have to practice to kind of rejuvenate all this. So it can definitely be done, but uh, give yourself enough time and don't make any assumptions. And uh, if pre -calc or sorry, pre-algebra is kind of too low of a course for you, you can kind of take a look at, for example, my course, look at what's in it, and then you know you you'll have to make that own determination. But if you finish pre-algebra 
in my program, then, you know, obviously the next course would be algebra or geometry or algebra two. If you have a specific need, by the way, if you're going back to school and you're not quite sure, feel free to jump over to my um, uh, website and uh, drop a message in my contact form if you have a specific, unique kind of scenario uh, that you're trying to figure out. I'll be happy to try to get back to you. But again, pre-algebra, I think, is a good starting point to uh, reestablish your math skills. So, um, you know, this is an interesting little question here, and a lot of people are like, oh, who, who thinks like this? You'd be surprised. At least I'm not surprised because I, I um, you know, uh, have many people contact me about math, and many people are trying to relearn math as an adult for any particular reason. So if you used to be good at math, there's definitely hope, and I think you um, will have a far easier time reactivating those skills and being successful. All right, so hopefully this video was some useful information. Um, and if you like this video in some way, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing again. Um, been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have hundreds and hundreds of videos organized from basic to advanced math on my channel. So that's a good place to start. You could just start looking at some of my, some of my, uh, YouTube videos, I would say in my pre-algebra playlist, but you're really, you know, if you're really serious about this, then you need a serious uh, course of instruction. So I would suggest my pre-algebra course. Again, you can find the links to all this stuff uh, in the description of this video. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.